Hello, it's me, Magic Phil. Welcome to the Magic Phil Show. I just got myself some brand new furniture. It's green. <laughs> hey, hey. Now, we'll put these here like this. There's one. There's two. Oh, I almost forgot. My new table. Ah, yeah, right. That's it. Come on then, follow me! Magic Phil is here and he's ready to go He's feeling very silly so start the show Everyone's invited to have some fun Come on everybody we've just begun Ready, steady, silly, here we go It's time for the Magic Phil Show Stay silly! Hello! I have moved all of my furniture now into my house. I've got my chairs, my table, I've even got a new kitchen sink. Hey, hey! Well, I wonder what time it is today. Are you ready to spin that wibbly wobbly wheel? I know I am. Bring on the wibbly wobbly wheel! <gasps> Let's give it a spin. Ooh! Mystery time! I wonder what that could be. I have no idea. <laughs> What's this? Oh, it's a white jacket. I've seen people wear these before. I wonder where I'm going. Maybe I'm going to be an optician. They look at people's eyes. Oh, I could be a doctor. I don't think so. What about a milkman? No? Well, let's go and find out. Whoa! Oh, hello! Hello! Who are you? My name is Professor Nutty Nicky. Professor Nutty Nicky, okay. And what are you? I'm a scientist. Oh, she's a hippopotamus. <laughs> no, a scientist. A hippopotamus? A scientist. Oh, a scientist. A scientist. And I've got something for you. What have you got? Whoa, what are these? Safety first. Are you ready to do some science? I'm ready. Not like this. Oh. Mm, nope. There, there we go. go. That's better. So, have you heard of chemical reactions before? No. I haven't. No. Well, do you know what? Even frying an egg is a chemical reaction. A chemical reaction is when two or more things are mixed together and something completely new is formed. So every time I fry an egg, I'm mm -hmm. a scientist? You are. There is a chemical reaction going on there. Wow! So next time your grown-ups are frying an egg, they're a scientist? Yep. Now, I've got some cool chemical reactions to show you. So, I'm going to ask you to take this and I'd like you to pour a little bit into cup number one. Does it smell good? It smells good. What is it? Mm -hmm. Well, that would be telling. Let's see what happens. Whoa! Whoa! Now, let's take... Wow! So that one was pretty cool, wasn't it? That has turned yeah. pink! So, there was a chemical reaction there. And how do you know there's a chemical reaction in something new formed? But where's the egg? There's no egg in this one, Magic Phil. Well, you said we were going to fry an egg. Yeah, this is a different chemical reaction. Ah, oh, right, okay, so... Okay. Wow, this is cool. We've changed the water pick. I mean, that is magic. Well, you see, it's like magic, but in science, we can always explain what's happening. So when this chemical went into here, there was a chemical reaction and it turned pink. But I've got something for you now. Take this and pour it into cup number two. What do you think is going to happen? It's going to turn pink, well, of course. See. Okay. Hmm. Do you, think, do you think it was the hand? There was no magic left. Shall we try this one? With this hand? Yeah, let's go for it. Check that. Now you're being silly. I'm the one that... Yay! What? Not that. But that... It's... 
Mmm. Try the last cup. I don't think there's an egg in that one. No, there's definitely no eggs in these magic, Phil. But this is an egg experiment. It's an excellent experiment. I'm so egg excited. Oh dear. Okay. So, mm. that's good. So, two pinky purple, two clear. Now, shall we pour them all together and see what happens? Let's pour them all back in here and see what happens. Will it go? Well, let's see. Let's test it and see. So, what's going to happen? Purpley pink one in. <gasps> what? What can you see now? It's gone back to water. Well, you think it's water, but just because it's a clear liquid doesn't mean to say it's water. You should always remember that in science. So what is it? It is actually something that's called an alkali. Alkal... Yeah. Alkali? Yeah. Basically, all cleaning materials are alkalis. And it's a special type of chemical. It's basically the opposite of an acid. So an acid is at one side of the scale, an alkali is at the opposite side of the scale. Wow. So I can clean my carpet with this? Yes. I can yes. clean my frying pan with it? You could. Once I've fried my eggs. Let's get these ones in and okay. see what happens. So there we go. When we mix the chemicals, we had a chemical reaction, but guess what? When we put them back, one chemical cancelled the other one out, so we had another chemical reaction there. That is crazy. That's called cool colour science. Cool colour science. Yep. Wow! So, in chemical reactions, sometimes things change colour when things are made. That's awesome. Would you like to see another chemical reaction? I want to do okay, another one. Now, these are vitamin C tablets. I've got some of them at home. Yeah, good. These are great for experimenting at home, so you could try this one. Now, if you add, I want you to uh, observe, okay? Okay. So do you know what that means in science? That means to look. Exactly. With so, to be a good scientist, you've got to be good at observing. Are you ready? And frying an egg. And frying an egg, yes. Okay. So I'm going to, well, let you pop that one in. Let's see what happens. I'm a bit nervous. What's going to happen? Don't worry. Are you sure? We're all safe here. Right, let's see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Okay. Whoa. Now, what do you notice and what do you hear? Sounds like a snake. It does, doesn't it? Look here. And it's, it's fizzy. It's, it's fizzing. Bubbles. It's bubbling. And it's giving off a gas. Do you think that's a chemical reaction? Gas? Mm. Now, what joke are you going to come out with? <laughs> <laughs> well, you know. I can hear it and... Yep. I can even smell it. It's yeah. like orange. It is. It's got the it's got the flavouring in with the vitamin C. But actually, when this this is called an effervescent, and when it goes into water, there's a chemical reaction, and it gives off carbon dioxide. So that's actually carbon dioxide gas that's bubbling and fizzing. That is brilliant. Yeah, but do you know what? That's okay. We can do something special with this. Would you like to try it out? Yeah, let's do it. Great. Something special. And if you're at home, this is something you could try as well. If you've got these little film canisters. But if not, you could possibly use your container of your vitamin C tablets. You could use this instead. These are from, like, the past. Yes. These are so old. How old I are you? So do you think the boys and girls will know what these are? <laughs> they're, from, they're from cameras. Like this, an old camera. So we used to put film in these. That was a long time ago. Yeah, that is, that's crazy. Mm. But when you get hold of these, these are great. Okay, we're going to do one at a time. So what we're going to do is we're going to pour about a third of water into our film canister. Now, don't worry if it's not exact. Let's see. Good measuring. Good that's measuring. Yeah, that's good. Yes, that's absolutely fine. Good. Now, what we're going to do now, this is the tricky part. 
And I practice this, so I'm a bit of a pro. You're a pro. I'm a pro. Professor. So, oh, yes. Professor. Nutty Nicky. Now, I'm going to give you one of these. And what you've got to do is you put it in. You put the lid on and make sure the lid is completely sealed. Okay. Then you're going to give it a little shake and turn it upside down. And then we're going to kind of do Get back. this. Yes. Okay. Okay. So let's, wow. let's do it in your tray. Okay, because it might be messy. Don't so. sit too close to the TV, because this could give you a fright. And if you're doing this at home, remember, you can put some glasses on. You can even put sunglasses on. They work great as safety glasses. Right, do you remember? So we shake this. No, we don't shake that, do we? No, we don't shake that. So we put this in here. Yep, that's it. We shake and then put it upside down. That's right. <laughs> Just making sure the lid is on tight. Okay. Right, three. Should we count down? Yes, let's count down. Three, two, two one. one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought it was a ah! oh, way! Oh, wow! Work fast. Whoa! Hey. Look at that! That is explosive! Oh, let's do one more. Let's do it again. Right, okay. Now, boys and girls, there's something to learn there because mine happens so quick. And that's because we put a full vitamin C tablet in. It'll uh, go a little bit slower if we do what? What do you think? We could half it. Exactly, exactly. So if you're at home, boys and girls, you can investigate. You can crush this up into powder and see which one goes the fastest and which one goes the slowest. So let's do half a tablet, because I'm not happy that yours was better than mine. Why don't I put the water in the tube of tablets? That could... Ah, uh, well... The boys and girls have got to explore that one at home. There's one for you to try at home, boys and girls. Just make sure you do it on the carpet. No, not on the not carpet. Not on the carpet. Don't do it not on the, on the carpet. carpet. No. So, look, we're doing it in a tray. We're doing it nice and, nice and no, safely. A, well, I forgot to say, on a tray on the carpet. <laughs> okay. Right. Have you got your vitamins? Oh, I've done it the wrong way. Oh, okay. Right. Water first, yeah? Yes, water first. Mine's is going to be good this time. Mm -hmm. I had a bit less water, I'll put a bit more. I'm going to win. But you could also investigate changing the amount of water as well and see how that affects it. Do you think more water would be better? Uh, I think less because it might give more gas. Well, if there's more water, then it's a lot heavier as well. So it's got to overcome those forces. I need to stop drinking water. <laughs> right, three, two, one. <laughs> Okay, you graduate. Am I a professor? You're a professor now. <laughs> professor Magic Phil. Yes, I've got my graduation right there. Look at that, Professor Magic Phil. <laughs> well done. Great experimenting. I've got a question. Yeah. I once met a scientist and he was telling me all about elephant toothpaste. What is elephant toothpaste? Well, guess what? Would you like to try it? I'd love to. Wait there. So tell me about this elephant toothpaste. Well, it is my favourite experiment of all time, and I'm sure the boys and girls at home have heard of it as well, but we are going to do it. It is an amazing chemical reaction. Now, do you remember what a chemical reaction is? It is. It's when it changes. Yeah. So when you mix um, chemicals together, you can get something completely new formed, and that's what we're going to do here. So we're going to put this in here, and then it's going to turn into an... Elephant? Well, let's, let's see. Let's discover as we do it. Now, we're going to, so a chemical reaction. It's like baking a cake. You've got to mix ingredients together. So step number one, I want you to take out this chemical here. Now, this is actually very dangerous. It is corrosive, which means if it touches our skin, it's not good for it. So this is what this sign here means. Yes. Dangerous. Yes, caution. This now, is why we're wearing rubber gloves. Yes, safety first. So if you're doing dangerous experiments, it's okay if you're a trained professional and you're taking care of your safety. Now, what we've got to do, shall I? It's child safety here. It might broken. Yeah, okay. Wow! There we go. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to hold our bottle carefully, careful pouring, and we're going to put all of this liquid now this is called hydrogen peroxide now boys and girls this one is 30 percent it's a bit dangerous but guess what 
You can do this at home with 6% hydrogen peroxide that you can get out of any pharmacy. So the boys and girls can do this at home, they can follow this, but instead of this hydrogen peroxide, they can get one out of a pharmacy they can use. Okay, now, next goes some soap. We're going to put in some washing liquid. Mm -hmm. Now, boys and girls, this is just soap that we do our dishes with. So that's plenty there. Okay, you can put the whole lot in. That's no bother at all. Got to clean those elephant teeth. Now, the reason it's called elephant's toothpaste is because the elephants have small mouths or big mouths? Huge mouths. Wow! So we don't want a small tube of toothpaste. We want a big tube of toothpaste. Now, I'm going to challenge you. I like stripy toothpaste, do you? I like stripy toothpaste. Okay, so what we're going to try and do is use our colouring to put some stripes down the bottle. So boys and girls, you can do this, remember? Hydrogen peroxide that you can get out the pharmacy. You can put some soap and some food colouring. Oh, that's interesting. It's very green. Good. This is magic fill toothpaste. Oh, oh look, I've got some more signs going on because I'm mixing seems to be red. Oh, they're going down the same lines, look. Okay. I think I have got Ooh. some nice stripes. Okay. Now, we have got one last thing. Oh, you've got lots of colour in. Are you making a mess there? I think, I, I think my elephant's teeth are going to be red and green. <laughs> right, okay. Now, we have got one last ingredient. Now, boys and girls, this is called a catalyst. And do you know what a catalyst does? Something to do with cats? Nope. A catalyst speeds up a chemical reaction. And guess what? Hydrogen peroxide is made of hydrogen and oxygen. And it breaks down into water and oxygen. So guess what we're going to do? We're going to put this in and we're going to make this react so quickly. And it's going to give off water and it's going to give off a gas. And mix that with soap and what do you get? A mess. Yes. Yay! Toothpaste. Now, what we're going to do, it's hard to pour in when it's a powder. So guess what? Okay. We'll mix it with some water and we're going <laughs> to make what's called a solution. Solution. A solution. All and of it in there? Yeah, you can put it all in there. And then we're going to go shake, shake, shake. I feel like shake, a real scientist. Shake. Now, boys and girls, you won't have this chemical at home. Um, this is called potassium iodide. Potassium. Um, but what you can use, boys and girls, is you can use yeast. You can add a spoonful of yeast to dry yeast powder. That works brilliant because the yeast has got this special chemical shake, inside shake, it. Shake, 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 Are you ready? Shake, shake, shake. Yes. Then I think what we're going to do is we'll do a countdown and we'll just like... Move back and then... Back. Okay. <laughs> right, let's do, do it. Do we do it fast or slow? Um, just do it slow and we'll see, see how it goes. Okay. okay? Mm -hmm. Right, we'll do five. 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 five four, four. Three. Two. two Wow! Wow! Yours Yay! beat mine. Yours is much faster. Wow! Wow! Look, and it's an exothermic reaction. Oh, it's hot. Look, it gives off. It's it warm. Gives off steam because it gives off heat here. So remember, it gives off water and oxygen, and heat. That is look pretty, that. pretty awesome. Wow! I love this experiment. Well, so, there's elephant toothpaste. That is elephant. We just need an elephant now. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh. We haven't got a toothbrush though, have we? Have you no, got a toothbrush? No, but we no. can get one. Oh, okay. Well, Nutty Nick, it has been an absolute amazing day here at your science lab. Boys and girls, I hope you had fun. I know I did. Until next time. I'll see you later, Nutty Nick. See you later. Bye, everybody. Bye. Well, that was so much fun. And now I know why elephants always have super shiny teeth. Hey, well, make sure you do stay tuned. And remember, stay silly and hit that subscribe button. See you next time.